what advice would you give first time venture capitalists who uh, are thinking about investing in companies for the first time? So I'd say the number one thing is make sure that you invest in enough companies, right? I think that uh, this is something that's uh, key in this industry is that um, if you look at the metrics, uh, you know, there's a power law at play in venture capital, which is that 10 to 20% of your investments will return and make you money uh, for all of the other investments, right? So out of every 10 investments you make, typically about five of those are going to disappear. About three of those, you'll be lucky if you get your money back. And one or two will then make you back all your money and the profit for the whole 10. So you got to make sure that when you're investing, you build yourself a portfolio uh, in order to protect yourself. And that's a, you know, it's a key element in building out uh, your venture capital investments. It's almost like the 80-20 uh, principle. Exactly. Yeah. So first time investors, when they are investing, they need to basically have a very diverse portfolio. Yes, I think it's, you know, it's key. I mean, you don't have to build it up over day one. Again, venture capital is not, a, you know, it's not a, a stock market. There's no trading of shares happening day to day. Um, you know, share prices change every year or two in this industry, right? It's not, a, it's not, it's not the stock market. Um, and, you know, growth happens over long periods of time. It doesn't, you know, all these big companies, people see uh, these big exit, exits being announced. Uh, very few people take the time to look at, you know, when they were founded. Uh, most of those companies have, you know, at least a 10 year on average uh, life cycle, sometimes longer, sometimes a little bit shorter. But that's the life cycle of a company typically between, you know, starting and an exit is somewhere around seven to 10 years. And, you know, over three, four, five years, if you're investing in this industry, you need to be building yourself a portfolio that'll, you know, protect you against your losses. Um, and hopefully you'll have a few winners within your portfolio.